Okay, so we just walked in here, picked that up off the shelf. We didn't wait in line or nothing. Yeah. That was very, very convenient. Yeah. Locked in at 80. The thing says 28 miles per gallon. 80 miles an hour. We might have to yank the transmission when we get up here. I don't know. It's leaking profusely. There'll be more on this some other minute. Just open up the shop. It's Monday morning. We got a job that we have. I've been looking forward to it. I mean, I, there's no real question on what the process is on doing this job right here. So that's freaking great. Cutting rod bushings using 7.3 guides on a cylinder head. Yeah, that's, I don't I get a little lost on that, but this can almost call it cutting our teeth job. Dang, that sucks, look at that. Hmm, battery cable. I knew the battery cable was messed up, so we're gonna have to, they don't make that cable no more, so I have to get a connection to put on it. And this is basic no base engine oil. So we are breaking it down. And let's see, uh, Joey's already been on the inside. The inside's already done, cleaned out, vacuum, cat bolts out, everything's good. So it's ready to go. Tractor's out moving. I did pull this thing in, had the wheel cocked, got it to where it, I think it'll go straight from there, but we gotta pull it up and over once I get a, well, actually, right now, I need to move it, which is a freaking drag. It's, it's just me and Julie here right now. We're in early. Well, or late. Who knows? They're farmers here. You never know. They might get out at 3 o'clock in the morning. Who knows? <laughs> they actually put that back on there. It's pretty comical, guys. Uh, they put that on like that, and it was tightened in and bolted, so... Yeah, this is literally upside down, like it goes like that, bolts down in there and sits there. <laughs> I mean, it was holding it, whatever. Take the heat exchanger out. Obviously, I have a charger cooler leak down there somewhere. We'll have to look at it a little bit later. There's oil on it. So we'll clean the heat exchangers too. I don't know. I mean, we're gonna have to get the charger cooler out and look a little better in a minute, but. That might have been, this tube looks fairly new. So it could be this tube was leaking in the past and that's what got all over the radiator. We'll see. Right now I'll get the space heater out and get this black tube off right here. Use the space heater. Just like that. And if it doesn't come off too good down here, I'll set the space heater down here. But right there, get that on there and find something else to do. This thing is dirty. So, I mean, it's not too dirty, but since we have a hot seat here and this is the first, uh, you know, the first truck, figure out what we're gonna do. I spilled some stuff there. Actually, I think I wanna do this after power steering. After power steering, kill it. Yeah, we'll get the power steering disconnected. And, uh, and then I can give it a little once over. We do have a drain back in the back. We can push it back there, but we also have this. And this works freaking great. It's a squeegee. You run that over the floor and it will be dry. Where it, where it ran it. So we'll hook that thing up and it'll clean the floor while we're washing the truck and it'll just be double. Yeah, it'll be freaking great. So, but now I got some of it taken off, charge air cooler. I actually spent quite a bit of time back in the back with, let's look here. Okay, we took off and I should have came in last night, turned this on, it's only 137 degrees. I have cleaned the radiator about as yeah, I, I missed, I think I missed it. I didn't show any anything. But in here, turntable is not spinning and I'm just letting the charge air cooler just bake. And it does a pretty freaking great job by itself, let alone if we spray it with localized water, like, well, I have the hot seat. I mean, open that up and hit it with a hot seat right there. That stuff is gonna be brand new perfect. I'll wash your freaking mouth out.
Damn, that's disgusting. <sighs> We're trying. It looks like milkshake. Power saying is milkshake. Look, put that in there. Oh. Yeah. Let's get that out of there. I mean, I normally, this, this, this bottle's pretty clean, and I, you know, so I didn't pull it out, but this is chocolate milkshake or strawberry milkshake. So we're getting all the fluid out, but look, it's a good thing I tore it apart. Look, that's how it was. I mean, it obviously was holding, I guess. So yeah, we're, we take the bottle all the way off and that will be all the way gone when we're done. We'll put it back together, but. I try to get all of the messy stuff unhooked. That way I can go ahead and wash the inner fender wells and the inner side, go ahead and wash everything. So when we lower the cab back down, that has at least already been cleaned, especially all that over there. It looks like the vacuum pumps were messed up. I gotta put that on. Um, yeah, but just wash some of this stuff. So uh, it makes the job nice when we put it back together. Okay, shop back's running right now, right? Pick it up, it's gonna drip. So then take these, the object is to get these up above this. So very carefully, just take a little push on it right there and another little push on it right there. Shouldn't be hardly anything that comes out of this. Nothing at all, actually. Not even a little bit, but we'll put a bag on it. Use it tight. Now we can uh, kill the shot back. So we're going to do a couple of clicks on that. Put this up here. Around this hood. Just put a little strain on it, just a hair. And you do that. I mean, it, I, I bent the line just a little bit. You do what, be mad if you want, I don't care. But there's no brake fluid dripping all over paint, knocking paint off, so, because that happens. This thing, if you don't prep this so that it's higher than the master cylinder, so now we don't have to worry about any fluid coming out of the master cylinder. We got the ABS block, but we'll put plugs, just plugs in that, it goes up with the body. It's not a big deal. Just, it, you don't have to like hermesthetically seal it. You just have to cover it up, keep dust from getting in it. Now we're gonna take these three lines off and these are gonna get, these are kind of a pain in the butt. You have to deal with these. Pull them out of the way and cover them up because this is what we're gonna work around to do the whole engine are these three lines. And the box all goes up. So all that uh, crap we did about putting hot water here at the lift. Oh, you but, want me to wait to cover it with the cap? But we will, uh, it does take a while to get hot all the way here. So I take it over here. So now we spilt a little bit more, right? Just a little bit, <laughs> which I'm actually gonna do it from on the creeper, I think. But we got hot water in here. No, you, I don't want to leave that that stuff down there. Over there, uh, right down in there. Just a quick rinse. Wash it all off. That way, when we get it, and I'll let her keep up. I won't overrun it with water, just like that. And it's going to clean the floor. I kind of like that. I mean, we have a drain for the big times, but it is a pain in the butt to work around the drain right there when we had it at the last shop. So. I mean, I kind of want the floor clean. So, you get the idea. Um, I can rinse off, just if any brake fluid got on it. Yeah, one last rinse before it's cab off. It is not very often. I mean, both of the ABS sensors on the front are push pinned in the fender well. They are, let's see if I can. Oh boy. Oh, I should I shouldn't have had you start recording. Oh, nasty. Oh, stucky. Oh, boy. That's uh. See, the other one is already out. I just it took like half a second to do the other one, oh. and and it it was pushed in too. So I thought that was pretty freaking nice that this truck. I mean, it's had it had it's had power steering done because all the clamps were all weird and messed up, but everything else. I mean, this truck is untouched. It's uh, fairly nice. Wow. There we go. It just suffers from getting freaking dirty. It's right behind the wheel. See it? 
dirty. So just be careful. Of course, it's all wet, so, you know, I'm not trying to take it apart all freaking crusty dry and breaking stuff. That's how you break stuff. Okay, we got the cab off. Look back here. Here's a... Uh, Crap, caked all over the place. I wonder if it had a wipe pipe. Oh, there's the bolts on the back. Has a puck in it. Has a puck with, uh, with the uh, pipe with the flex joint in it. Hmm. Hate to see corrosion around that EVP sensor. That gets shorted out all the time. Oh, it's already got a pigtail on it. It gets shorted out all the time because of like head gaskets and coolant leaking on it. it does it a lot. Man, this is dripping. So right now we're debating. Remember, this is the first one. It's all dirty right now. Figure out what routine we want to do it. Before this is power wash and paint time or power wash time. Power wash and paint the cab. And, you know, we've got outside right there. And I think I want to drag this thing back and... Uh, wash this outside right now, like get the dust gone. And then while we do that, come back in here and then I can clean this and hopefully not get water every damn where. <laughs> I hope. I mean, this one does not pump base engine oil pressure. Base, no base engine oil pressure. I don't even remember how many miles are on this thing. Two hundred forty-six, two hundred forty thousand. Not a lot of rust on the uh, valve covers. They look pretty good. I didn't even look at the other side. How's the other side look? Got any rust? Uh, a little bit of rust. We could redo that. That'll be all right. Hmm. This is what it looks like. This is before. Now, now it would be cool if I could just go like. Whoosh that and come back up and boom it's all done and rebuilt i mean i guess i could do that and not have not show you guys any of it <laughs> got a brand new turbo on it and we got a, i think no the 6.4 over there in the other bay has got a full set of injectors going in it but this one what well, oh this one's getting a full set of injectors too yeah so I'm going to push this outside and we're going to wash everything and get rid of all this dirt because, you know, I like to lean up against this and I don't, okay, maybe I'm a little picky, but we might as well knock some of this stuff off so we don't have to work around it. Oh, and the cab mounts, of course. She's a little smashed. So with that, we do both of them. I mean, those, I don't know, you know, I guess I got for this job, maybe we just, I mean, there's only six of them. The fronts look phenomenal. Okay. Well, uh, they might be the same. I just look for them, look for them to be smashed down the same amount. You know what I mean? Thank you. Yeah. Boxes. And look, I got found all blue paint Yeah, because you can't tighten a harmonic balancer on a six liter and, and mark the harmonic balancer bolts with anything other than a blue paint pen. So you have to mark the balancer with a blue paint pen. Just mark that in the service manual as well. Paint. Okay. We uh, are so far out here that we are resorting to ordering. We use that on bolts. When we paint bolts, they use that. That's good freaking paint. Really good paint. Okay, now is when I'll take off all these push pins. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little disassembly. Well, no, I'm not. Actually, now that I mention it, I, I don't. I wanna clean this up, clean all these up before it moves. So after wearing a rain suit, we put a little, Julie put a canopy up, Julie and Joey did. I don't even know if it's all the way clean. It's so dark. I washed the hell out of it. Outside, I spent about a good long minute out there.
We're gonna go ahead and paint this right now so I can put the lights up and then we'll bring the chassis back in to tear it apart. I just don't wanna put the lights up and take the lights down and put, and put them back up and yeah. Have it painted right now, get it done, put the lights up and let's get to work. But right now it just needs to drip and wipe down. I have to wipe it down. Yeah. Here we are. We got it all put back. We started doing gray under here. Still did aluminum on the, uh, all the shiny stuff. We got that all cleaned and painted. This is clean to touch. So at least I can brush up against it. I washed the hell out of it. This thing was disgusting. So, which means it probably isn't gonna leak. You know, it's not gonna be a, or rust, I mean. It's not gonna be a rusted pain in the butt, so. What are you doing, Trixie? That's Trixie. She just runs around wherever she wants. Like that was caked. It's pretty clean now, kind of. Yeah. So tomorrow's breakdown day. Tear it down. We did get the cab off this one too. We got it off. Not much more done other than the cab off, but Joey got the cab off today. We got ours off. Got it clean, painted, lights up. Radiator, charge air cooler, or Crestine. Ready to go on the truck. Who knows what the failure is? We're gonna find out. It does not pump base oil pressure. So, messed up freaking battery cable. Yep, there you go. Cab off. Where are you, Papa? Do what? Where are you, Papa? Whoa, where are you, Papa? He's, he's at work. Can you say he's at work? Hey, Albert. Yeah. Brand new day with a 6.4 there and a six liter right here. This is my day this morning. Just got in. Got it all ready last night. Now it's a uh, just a perfect scenario for just to relax and sit back and have fun. We got our carts here. We can put all the parts on carts, wheel them back to the back. Right now it's just disassembly. It's pretty freaking clean. Take I didn't want to wash all that too freaking much. <laughs> that was disgusting. Look at that. Boy, I can handle that. It's not bad. Wash the bottom of the transmission too as good as I can. Feel free to do that. Get that bell housing clean, so when we put a fresh engine back in it, you don't have a dirty freaking bell housing. Now it's time to break it down. How many parts are there here? Let's start counting. I'm just kidding. We're going to take it apart. Joey's going to do the third, the 6-4 over in the other bay and just going to have him just take it apart. He's going to learn by fire. So... Turn the lights on and get to work. We did go ahead and put a coating under the body too. Get our used parts box. Start with paint. Got all that done. All is dirty. Break right clean your injector hold down, the injector pigtails, the ends, the harnesses. I did that before I put the intake, before I took the intake off. Throw a little brake cleaning on around there. You could do a light blow gun and then a little WD-40 and then another blow gun. If you do that to them, they'll look brand new. But we did just pull this off. I wanted to show. Why the heck are we tearing this apart? Something went through it. Pull the pump out real quick, see how it looks. I'll use this to look in there a little bit. Oh yeah, it's not coming apart. It's not wanting to come out. See, this is how I pull it out. Normally a couple of magnets, you're all good. See the tolerance is in there? That'll let you see how it meshes. It's an eccentric hole and the oil pump just rides around it. 
but the tolerance has got to be pretty freaking good in there. And we've obviously had some uh, clearancing going on in there. <laughs> Let's uh, watch this real quick because she's kind of grinding out. Let's just see how this thing comes out because I normally never grab it with vice grips right here. Let's see. You came out a little bit. You need to grab another magnet and try and get it at the top too. <laughs> See if I can just go in here and just like grab it, pull it out. Yeah. Ah, just hell with it. Just dig it. We're gonna... I mean, I could just take the front cover off, but I kind of want to see it right now. And then I'm now I'm too far invested to not get it out because I just want to see. Oh look. Oh. That is freaking screwed up. Oh. Definitely wasn't doing this job anymore, was it? Oh, there it goes. Holy goodness. Mm -hmm. That right there is wall art. So that obviously quit pumping. This would be one right here, even though we obviously have at least a couple of valves not opening and closing all the way. But this truck kept running. I mean, it was until it wasn't, I, what I'm saying, we probably could have slapped a low pressure pump in it, cab on just that day when we was dying in it for low pressure oil, slap a pump in it, and he'd probably still be driving this son of a gun. Until the camshaft lets go. Yes. Wonder what that, I mean, ideally you could, the truck would physically keep running. You could just grind that lobe all the way down and not even let those valves open. It would still run. Man, that's a front cover purchase right there. Or cut it. That's deep though, that's too deep to cut. I mean, what would be kind of nice would be if they actually did make just, they probably do, don't they? Make a plate, slide in there with a, with a different uh, front cover, the different pump cover. And then you could uh, bring it out a little bit and give it kind of like a wear ring. Hmm. Because it's, I mean, that's groove. That's, yeah, that's not going to pump very good. I mean, it'll still pump some, but pretty much that sucks too because other than that is I mean the front cover is like pristine everything's nice it would clean up magically it would be great but that <sighs> do you guys want to see what I just saw okay look out Anthony I'm gonna come show them what I found we gotta put this back in we gotta get it out of here hope the flash is on Gotta put those back in there. <laughs> yeah. Not a big surprise, but yeah. Got the injectors all loosened. You can tell they're up. And then I popped the harnesses out, and now I had to get a little system set up because this is getting a fresh set of injectors. But, you know, some of these, I'm, we might keep these for little charity cases stuff like that so i'm not even going to number them we don't have any diag videos of this thing anyways of actually running and testing injectors so what difference does it make whether it was number two or number eight who freaking cares i'm just going to label the box label the box and throw them all in there there you go let's do that i couldn't do it i went ahead and numbered it <laughs> i just been carrying along haven't even been looked for any damage look we found it right there that right there is a failed lifter. Good camshaft, even scratched the block a little. Well, maybe not. That might be a shadow. Right. 
reflection. Smash it up, though. It could have kept running. I mean, I could take the valve bridge. I could probably get the valve bridge off without even, yeah, I can almost take the valve bridge off with all the lash that's in it now. That's a uh, <laughs> failed lizard. Here you go. <laughs> that looks like crap. Holy goodness. Green. Big cracks right off the bat. Don't really see nothing. Just some nasty looking heads. You're all right, we can deal with that. The session's pretty, th ooh, that one's almost flush. Good deal. The tighter they are, then we might be able just to clean up and let them ride without having to put seats in it. Which, that's what we're gonna shoot for. Let's get these freaking things clean. So, to tear them apart, this is what I do. I bang it like that, hit it one time, take the keeper off, throw it on the towel. And Julie digs them out. We got two of them. So we do that all the way until they're all done. Just like that. We're done. Now, pop them both up on edge. So, throw this little kit up. This kit works great for disassembly. 36050 works freaking great. We'll move this stuff over. We'll clean that up later. Now I numbered the cylinder heads. That one is two. That one's one. No, number two. Okay, so. Oh, let me set it up. So. Set them up so that the exhaust manifold, the EX, I, I write this on here so that it's, uh, that's the exhaust manifold side of it. It's as if the head is sitting, that is the head right there. So I got the holes in it so that I can, doesn't really matter, so I keep everything straight, but this really doesn't matter. I could actually throw them all in a valve in a- Basket? Yeah. Damn, did I just do that? Mm -hmm. Nah, hell with it. Let's, we'll go ahead and do this. Way. Yeah. And then wipe them off so it doesn't get the inside of the freaking wood all freaking dirty. You know what I mean? Right there. So he's finishing that one. Now we'll pull the valve seals off. So I set these vice grips up. Like, okay, it's all the way locked closed. Yeah, I got it closed. So spin it down so it goes to it and then let up a little, just a little bit of a turn so I can just grab it. And you don't need the special tool, I just buy a scribble. And if you, or you can tighten it all the way up and to where you, you don't clip it. Let's see. Yeah, like that. To where, to where you don't have to unclip it. Yeah. So these are kind of freaking loose actually everything kind of felt loose all these guys are yeah i had one over there on my head that felt really loose yep. so i'm gonna take these back to the back and we're gonna try the first time hot scene i might just try it off the bat and not even put it in the spray cabinet we'll see heads are in the spray cabinet went ahead and put them in there we'll let them go there for a little bit and then i'll bring the hot seat around we'll clean them up we gotta decide which one we're gonna work on next. Work on go ahead a little further with parts or keep moving forward and do the block. Make the block out. So he is soaking wet. And hopping off the valve. He's yeah. already been working on the head. Closed off the intake. Now there's one head in the ultrasonic. There's another head still in the spray cabinet. And how do they look? Ah, uh, they still need brush. Yeah. yeah. Well. That one does. Okay. That one's pretty smooth. I mean, they still need brush, but at least we're not going to get completely covered with crap Good. all over your face from doing it. All right. Good job. Watch this.
Let's go right into that port. See how the black it takes out of the end? Yep. It's like we're focusing the spray cabinet right in that port. Yeah, the diesel will be done. Before it would take a lot of time to clean it. This? I'm so I'm so here so. I see why. So is your phone. So I got them all wet. I kind of liked that way of putting them in there and up against the sink. Worked pretty freaking good, but it didn't finish them. So, I mean, you can touch them and not get greasy, but they're just, they're not like that. That looks pretty freaking disgusting, but it's pretty, uh, it might be a little gummy, but it doesn't even matter. We don't need to keep tabs on them. It's just kind of nice to hold the valves that held them all up against there so I could hot see it. Cylinder heads. I don't, I've never gotten a set of cylinder heads done. So, uh, quick, that is clean. No, well, maybe not too clean. Whatever, it's clean. They're good, so I'm gonna get these cleaned up and uh, I guess tomorrow I might go ahead and do it. Just get the valves cut, get those heads ready to surface, and then we'll work on yanking this short block out. Uh, maybe. I don't know, because it would be kind of nice to get all the dirty stuff done before I go working on that. There is a pretty good chance, actually, I might wind up just leaving those cylinder heads right there. What would you, how would you guys work it? Because I would like to get rid of all of the nasty crap, right? This job right now, barring the valves, me having to wire brush the valves, this, this job is now clean. There's no more dirt for this job. So, except there. So maybe I need to go ahead and do one more soaking freaking wet day. Because that hot seat works very, very nice. I mean, those heads would not have been done, like in Grain Valley. They would not have been done this fast. Like ready to machine. That's amazing. So we'll, I guess we'll do this block the same way. Knock all that crap off of there. I mean, who knows what the cylinders are going to do. Um, there's no, I mean, I guess I could, but I don't need to stick the board, the board gauge in there yet. But it'll be all right. We don't need to. Probably get the transmission lines all the way off the truck, too, and get this last power steering line off. I took the fuel line off. You notice I bared a lot of this stuff so that we can paint. Like the brake lines can sit, they're fine. Probably take that, take that keeper out too with this. Take the fuel pump off, get it off the truck. And that's it. That's it for today. Tomorrow, maybe we'll get something done. Nah, have a good day, guys. And just when you think he's done, he keeps working. I guess I was wrong. I figured I'd go ahead and clean them. Clean them up. Get the stem of it. Roll it around now. I'll put my finger here, right here, and hold it in that corner like that. And press it hard. And pretty much one revolution and it's done. And then get the edge like that. And then hold it and do, just do the bottom of the valve and spin the valve, only doing the bottom because otherwise you do stuff like that and it takes all the skin off your hands. So it's pretty, uh... So, now we're done. This many more and we're gonna have the valve clean. Then we'll be done.